Hello, this is Algebra 2, topic 7-3. Uh, we've talked about vertical asymptotes and horizontal asymptotes for rational functions. Well, now we're going to take that information and use it to graph rational functions. So, uh, let's go ahead and look at this. First off, our domain is that x cannot equal 1. So we have a vertical asymptote at x equals 1. So come over here to x equals 1. And you want to just kind of put a dashed line to represent your asymptote. Okay. Now, horizontal asymptote, we look at our degrees, which is 1 and 1, because they're the same. We look at our coefficients, which are 1 and 1, which equals 1. So we have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 1. So you again draw another asymptote. Now here's where we're going to use our calculator to grab just a few quick points. So in your calculator, we want to go to y equals, clear out whatever may already be in there, and we want to go ahead and put this into our calculator. So we're going to put in parentheses x plus 2 divided by in parentheses x minus 1. The reason being we want to make sure that our top and bottom are definitely separate. Now, instead of graphing, we're going to go ahead and just go to our table. That would be second graph. And we want to look at some important numbers. So I notice right here I've got that negative 2 equals 0. So negative 2 is 0. If I keep going more negative, negative 4 is at 4. Sorry. Negative 4 is at 0.4. Negative 5 is at 0.5. Now we come to the other side of our error. We get that 2 is 4. I'm going to go ahead and say 4 is 2. I want to use numbers that are nice and easy to understand. And we just keep on getting closer and closer to 2, but we don't actually ever hit it. And so I'm going to say at 7, we're at 1.5, because that's an easy number to know. <coughs> so we'll go ahead and plot our points. So at negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I'm at 0.5. At negative 4, I was at 0.4. At negative 2, I'm at 0. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use this point 0, negative 2. 0, we're at negative 2. So this side, we'll go like that. It hugs the asymptote, swings in to hit our points, and then hugs this asymptote. <clears throat> now on the other side, we have 2, 4, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. And 7, 1.5. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1.5. And so here we're going to hug this asymptote, swing in, hit our points, and then hug that asymptote. Now, I don't particularly care what points you plot so long as you plot these on the left-hand side of your asymptote and these 
on the right hand side of your asymptote. And your graph should hug the asymptotes. Let's go ahead and look at graph number two. Well here we know that x cannot be equal to two. So a vertical asymptote is that x equals two. Horizontally, our degrees are zero and one. N is less than D. When it's less than, a horizontal asymptote is at zero. So we come over here to x equals two. And over here, y equals zero. <coughs> and now we come grab some points. Go to y equals, clear it out. On the top, we have three divided by x plus two in parentheses. It's very important that you wrap polynomials in parentheses. So we go to our table. Our error was at x equals negative two. Here, I didn't see two. Obviously, I made an error, so I need to come back and fix my asymptote. Not that big of a deal. Get my asymptote nice and drawn. And now we come back to some points. Well, negative two is my error. So I'm gonna do negative three. Negative three. Uh, negative five. Negative one. And we'll say negative eight, negative point five. Let's get some numbers that are bigger. We are at negative one, three, one, one, and four point five. When I would graph the negative eight, that's all the way over here negative 0.5, so just below the line. Uh, negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we're at negative 1. Negative 3, 1, 2, 3, we're at negative 3, 1, 2, 3. So we hug our asymptote, go through our points, and then hug our asymptote. Over here, negative one, three, positive one, one, and four, one, two, three, four, point five. So we hug our asymptote, swing out to hit our points, and then hug our asymptote. And so that's the graph of our line. Fairly simple. Find your <coughs> asymptotes, plot some points around the asymptote, plot your graphs. Let's go ahead and move on. <coughs> our last graph, our degrees are two and one. N is bigger than D. Our domain, well X, cannot equal a positive one because one minus one is zero. So we have a vertical asymptote at x equals one. Horizontally, our numerator is bigger than our denominator, so we do not have one. We come over here to x equals one. Draw our asymptote. 
and let's go ahead and get some points. And y equals, we clear this out, we put our formula, x squared divided by x minus 1. Have to make sure that we include this in parentheses. Go to our table. Our error was at 1, so we're going to plot some points. We've got 0, 0, uh, negative 1, negative 0.5. And see if we can get a nice whole number. Well, we're reaching the end, so we'll say negative 9, negative 8.1. Over on the positive side, we have 2, 4. Uh, 3, 4.5. And looks like we're getting some weird numbers, so we'll just say 6, 7.2. Plot your points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then 8.1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Point 1. Negative 1. Negative point 0.5. Zero, 0. 2, 4, 3, 4 5, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 point 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 point 2. Now these are a little weird, so I do want to go ahead and go to my graph. And you'll notice that this goes steadily up until it slams down. And it slams down until it goes steadily up. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go steadily up and then slam down. And then slam down. And then curve steadily up. Essentially what we have is we have a slanted asymptote here, and we're not going to worry about finding that. <coughs> but whenever your degree is, whenever your degrees of your numerator are greater than degrees of your denominator, you may want to look at your graph to get a better idea of what's going on. I still want you to plot some points so that you have some specific points with which to draw on. All in all, this assignment is not terribly difficult. Uh, good luck on your assignment and have a good day.